going on, everyone? Yeah, Charlie Crespo. Um, I haven't made a video in a long, long time, but um, I'm back, I guess. And so, the video I'm making is when your truck breaks down. Um, I brought my truck, I got a 2020 Freightliner. I um, had a problem with the IPM system. I get to the Freightliner dealer in San Antonio. I'm like, hey, I'm going home, you know, leaving there with them. It's supposed to be three days, maybe tops. They don't take appointments, it's just first come, first serve. So I get there and I start explaining to the guy my APM system is not working. So I'm getting crappy mileage. I could drive the truck, but my APM system, which is Intelligent Power Train Management System, is not working. The guy asked me, what's IPM system? So I kind of gave him an idea of what it was. And I was like, you should know that, you know? But I figure, you know, he's the service advisor, the technician will know what I'm talking about. The truck was there for five days. I get out and I go pick up the truck. They call me, the truck is ready. I pick up the truck, check engine lights on. So I was like, okay. They didn't have a check engine light when he came in. So now I gotta go back, leave it for another day and a half. So, you know, that's six days of no work. You know, I have my train, my trainee, um, but I missed out on a whole week with no, no pay, uh, paying my trainee, but I was home, so I didn't care that much, but, so they fixed my check engine light, some kind of wires needed for shorting out, so they repaired them, it's on the warranty, but when I leave, my APN system is still not working. So, I'm not gonna go back, um, you know, I decided to hit the road because, you know, every day, every day you're leasing a truck, it costs you money, you know? So I decided, okay, let's go, I'll fix it maybe during my Christmas break. Um, so, perfect. So then I'm going, uh, I have to drive by Salt Lake City, Utah, so I figure, hey, let me get an alignment done at the terminal because I was dropping off a load there um, so I get there I go to do my alignment my steering wheel's off up now so now I'm mad because I, st I don't have any IPM system working my alignment is even worse than when it first came in um, the guy tells me oh yeah we had about three to four trucks come back for the alignment um, he thinks the sensor needs to be calibrated I was like, you know, a lot of people probably get the alignments done and they couldn't come back. They got a load taking them far, so who, why does he care, you know? But luckily I had a load, you know, I dropped the load off. Then they gave me a local run to do, so I came right back the next day. And he still messed it up. Like, my steel wheel is off. Oh! Truck driving straight, if my steel wheel is to the left, it's so annoying. But... You know, we're still driving. Now I gotta find a place. Um, what I'm probably gonna do is see if I can go by Springfield Freightliner and see if they could look at my IPN system. The reason I say Springfield, Missouri, because um, maybe since Robert Lowe, the owner of Prime, does a lot of business with them, they might actually care about fixing my damn truck. Um, and I'm gonna try the alignment. Um, see if maybe the dealer could do an alignment not the terminal um, you know these tires are not cheap and I want to make sure they wear evenly so they could last longer you know um, but yeah this is just a video about a, me ranting about breakdowns and stuff but you know it's it's frustrating because it is but you can't let it get you down can't get let it get you unmotivated and it sure as hell can't let you forget the good weeks you had while working, you know? You good weeks, bad weeks, but hey, um, just a little update. I'm back, I'm gonna start making some videos. I got some ideas, um, and I have a new trainee that wouldn't mind me recording him. So, um, this is gonna be fun. Um, stay tuned, and um, hope you guys like it.